I kind of wish I could beat this entire game in one sitting. Just because I'm finding it at times... Oh, here, here we go. I think this is the right path. Each time I come back to this game, I'm like, where, uh, fuck, where was I going? Where was, uh, maybe it'll kind of, maybe it'll kind of just like fall together and I'll be like, ah, oh, I did it. I found my place. Huh. Yeah. Is the other guy gone? Okay. Like I, I, uh, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm on the right path. Maybe it's, maybe it's coming back together. Maybe I just have to be in the middle of the game in order to process where to go but like when I'm whenever I'm starting a session I try to think about like okay where was I where was I and what was I up to and where did I need to go next and I draw a complete blank I have no idea I can't even start uh, recalling a map in my mind I need to find my way back to that broken room I haven't played this game for a while uh, that the game breaking last time kind of broke my will to play it for a bit, so I'm kind of playing it now because I'm running out of time before the next episode has to come out. So I guess I'm like, I guess I'm under deadline. Okay, so here's the fucked room. So assuming the statues aren't here still, I'd have to I have to run in. Yeah, you have to sprint in, because if you don't sprint in immediately, then as a punishment for being cautious, the game becomes unwinnable. Uh, no, that's not great news for me. Ding. Okay, yeah. Those guys are all coming at me, so I'm like, I need this camera to face that doorway before they all come and kill me. Okay, I can't follow you. <laughs> Don't break my neck. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> I, for I momentarily forgot how silly the combat is in this game. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I don't see, like, what the boss fight is or something. Ooh, is this a door? That's a shortcut to earlier? <clears throat> That'd help me not have to deal with all that in the future. Is that the guillotine door I just passed? Or a different... Where am I? Uh, I'm not totally... Oh, fuck! They're still following me. Some of the other things have, like, stopped following me eventually, so I thought maybe they would, too. This is, this is a dead end. I have to not be here. Okay. I'll die if I stay here. You bastards. Okay. <laughs> Is that the way? Is that where I'm going? Nope, that's the trap door. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's the trap door from earlier. <clears throat> okay, so now I know where I am at least. I'm by the trap door. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, this is a dead end. What the fuck? Okay, we're good. Where are we? I don't like the little crystals. They look like teeth. Strangely off-putting. The little like ro like single row of tiny crystals that look like really uniform in height and stubby on top. It's like oh, teeth. That's horrifying. Okay, so that statue's dead. Somebody broke that one. That one's not coming for me. Oh! Thank <laughs> you. 
Get him. I'm all shiny. Why am I shiny? Oh, my power level. My power. Okay. My power bar is filled up. Makes me shiny. Ooh. Well, that looks important. Sorry, one moment. Options. Controller. I have to remind myself what the button is before I press it on accident. So, Dragonheart is Y, your ability is X. Okay. Gotta be careful about which one's heal and which one's the power. I don't want to waste the entire meter when it's in, in vulnerability. Ah. Crowning Peace. Staring into the fiery orange stones, you find yourself curious to, as to whether they were taken from the ground separately and cut into perfect matches, or consist of shards struck from the same monstrous gem. So I, I saw where to put that before, I just didn't realize I could take the rod apart. Like, I pretty much immediately figured I could take that staff apart, but I didn't know... I thought I had to do it with, like, an item or a place. I didn't think you could just click on it. Faceted Sapphire Gem. The clarity of this brilliant indigo gem is truly remarkable. Looking through it, you observe the world tinged in blue, and even slightly magnified. Rather than a crystal crafted for ornamental purposes, you can see this artifact serving a more utilitarian purpose. Oh, shit. Can I remember a place that needed a blue gem? Hmm. I think ideally I would beat each of these levels in one sitting, like a Zelda dungeon, like I tried to, but they're they're pretty long. That hasn't just that hasn't matched up with reality. Oh, but yeah, I always try to do Zelda dungeons in one session, for example, so I can keep it all straight in my head where I've where I've been and what loose ends need to be filled up. Bye-bye. I don't think you're coming back from that one alive. Hmm. This level's getting really samey, so I'm really having trouble telling where I am. Getting into Hellpoint territory a little bit. It's unfortunate for that game that it's just become my go-to example for confusing Souls-like level design. So this is the la- yeah, this is a memorable room. I fought a, a dual blade guy and there was a, like a mage in here, so I had to try to separate them because both at the same time would be such a problem. I definitely remember that room. I don't know if I can reliably say how to get to and from it necessarily. But I at least recognize something. Whereas a lot of these rooms are samey enough that I'm like, have I been here before? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Huh. Like, it even looked like a blue gem, so I thought we'd be looking through this one, but we're not. Huh. It gives me an interact point here, but I'm not sure- Wah! Kind of a VR interact screen, isn't it? Uh, there's no missing chunk this time. So I must need something else? Unless I can, can, like, combine some of these? Hmm. 
Nothing really gives off the impression they'd fit together. What is this bag of corn for? Let's see, what's the next level upgrade for this guy? Oh, right, there isn't. It's fully capped out. So agility. So I guess it's tempting to level this one up next because everything else is pre-leveled up. Its agility scaling is so bad though, only giving me 30 points, where this one gives me 78. I get more damage from my agility than I do from the actual level of the weapon in this game, in this thing's case. Oh, I have points again. I leveled up earlier. Okay, so... God, how do, how do some of these parts of the level fit together? Um, maybe if I put the orange gem where it goes? The... oh. That's the trap door. There's like stuff past the trap door, so you would think that there's like a reason to get through it, right? Does that mean I'm... Shit. I associated that trap door with the place where I put the, the orange thing, but maybe it's not. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember seeing something to put that in. Where are all the enemies? I guess the... You're right, because I quit. I logged out and quit last session. So I didn't die. So I think all the enemies are still... Uh, dead if I killed them that life. In fact, I'm not sure if I've died in this entire area. Which might mean there's no enemies in the entire place. Okay, so here's where we fought her. So that's where we got her gem. And I ha yeah, this shone a light on me, right? So I needed to have the staff with the orange gem to get through this. But then I took the staff and I put it somewhere. Oh, hey, buddy. There's more still, still, still some people. Out. Oh yeah, you have to dodge it. Or he'll never fight back again. Uh, I was kind of hoping he would ding me so I could level up. That's another oil. I have one shard. And one oil. There. So now I have four rare dragon shards. But my my one weapon I'm using is maxed out already, so I don't know if I'll ever need that. Yeah, maybe this was where I need to put the orange thing. It is the area I right after. Oh god. Okay, we're in some trouble here. Okay. Oh god, am I gonna heal in time? Huh. Huh. Nope. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna fucking level up from this fight. His iframe twirl. I did level up! Ah, uh, that sucks. That means I didn't need... Uh. I should have used my invulnerability power instead of a heal. Because that recharges eventually. It also doesn't have a casting time, really. Here we are. Right? I think this is where I thought the, the orange gem would go. There we go. Or... Yeah, the, the, the other orange gem. This one. The head. What is this gonna do?
What? Am I supposed to take- so I'm- hmm. Oh god. I think I'm supposed to take the blue one and like cut it somehow into a gem? Uh, for a staff head? And I also need a staff again. I don't know if I can get the one back that I put in the, the lever. And I guess if you get both of them and put them here, then you get access to like... I don't know, this, this, this is starting to feel really optional because it's kind of uh, convoluted. Or may, although maybe it gets me through there. But like, I need the blue staff to get through the painting. But maybe once you activate the painting, you can not... Ooh, there's, a, there's clearly stuff behind here. So maybe once I have that, I get access to whatever's behind there. But now that means that it's, that's, that's not where I go next. That's, I was thinking that was where I go next. Fuck! Oh, that's invincibility. Let's just use it up then, okay. Hey, buddy. Joke's on you, invincible on accident. That was a bad little slip up to make where I just randomly tapped it. For no reason. Whoops. Hmm. I don't know. I get what they're going for. Like, I would appreciate cool Zelda dungeons in my Souls game, potentially. But this is so large. This area is so large, and a lot of it's not very memorably put together. Like, this isn't actually how Zelda dungeons are made. So it leads to a situation where I can't remember where anything is and stuff isn't always clearly signposted as being important in the way that I need it to be so I can remember like, aha! Like even if you get, are about to unlock a mechanic you've never seen before in a Zelda game, <clears throat> there's often like a whole bunch of the environment that's like, you can, there's a signposting aspect of like just like, not literal signs necessarily, but like just like, the way something is designed visually or kind of stands out will lead to a moment where you're like, oh, that. That seems, that, I don't think that's decoration. That seems important. There must be like a thing I'm gonna get that must interact with that eventually. And then you start like theorizing what that tool might be and sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong, but like it sticks in your head. But this area is just a bunch of empty rooms, except sometimes there's an enemy in it, but like, Puzzle-wise, the rooms are empty. Oh, shit. Ah. God damn it. Hello. Do you go in here? Oh, that did not fit, but it fit. <laughs> Congrats. Mmm, illusory walls. That one that one snuck by me. Weird to make the illusory walls mandatory? This, they're usually a secret in these in games like this. Like a reward, like, wow, you found me! Here's a special item. A heart piece or whatever. In this game, it's like, uh, you literally won't be able to beat me unless you find my obscure location that's intentionally hard to see, because that's the point. <laughs> Uh, how do I make this match? This is this just oh, that just drops it. Do I rotate you? Oh, see, you gave me an A prompt, but I thought it was just going to take the gem back out for rather obvious reasons. Not that it was going to rotate it via a magic button that was not clearly there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Nothing nearly as egregious as the illusionary wall that hit this room. Oh, I, w I lost so much pointless time to that. All right, well, we're, we're back to making progress. Why'd you drop it? Did we want that to happen? I guess so. 
Well, at least you wasting my time means I leveled up more. So I'm only scary stronger now. Hooray. More scary, more strong. Let's do. <laughs> Hello. Purple staff head. Bracketed in burnished metal, this finely wrought piece of va uh, vaguely resembles a lantern. Do I need a do I need another rod, I wonder? Let's find out, I guess. It's just it's right here. The exit just lock itself? I think it did. Maybe they don't want me to make the mistake of trying to press forward through here. Like, no. You're going to realize you can use this here. Okay, so you don't need a staff. You can just hold it up. Is that the end of the zone? You just went and locked me in. I guess we have to go forward one way or another. But I can probably come back to use that staff head elsewhere. Wait. No, you're just put you're just you're sending me straight to that room. Okay. That is the painting that led here. Okay, I thought this was an optional thing I'd have to keep in mind for later. But no, this is actually the final puzzle. Whoop, that looked weird. <laughs> Got a little Cyberpunk 27 in there for a second there. Whee! Is this the boss fight? Probably. Like, that was a big final thing, right? Like, I put all the staff heads in here. So, real quick. Before I go running in there... Okay, so that's the big... This, we're in the middle of the big ring area. Is this the elevator room? That's the statue. I think the elevator room might be next. The boss chamber. Oh, this is a long path. So here's the elevator room, right? Okay. And there you are. So when I respawn here, if I die, we want to take this path. I'm just trying to verify before I get lost after dying, because I'll probably die the first time. First attempts on boss fights don't usually quite work out, although we've gotten close a few times. Trying to verify where the hell I am. Mostly linear. I might have a number of enemy respawns along the way. We'll see if there's like a point of no return barrier that I can use to make them stop chasing me or if I have to fight them all. But if I go the other way through that ring, it takes me through <clears throat> the kind of outdoorsy area and then that's followed by... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's the boss fight. <laughs> and that's followed by the moon phase floor puzzle. Like, backtracking through that would be way worse. Okay, let's see how this goes. So it begins. Hey, buddy, old pal. You have many a weapon. Oh, no. Please lock on. Please lock. Okay, the fight hadn't started yet, I guess. What are you doing? What is that? Fuck up Flexile Sentry. He's very durable. Kind of exhaustingly so, honestly. I 
I must have to fuck his face up or something. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's a spinny boy. What? Quickly, quickly, quickly. He's pretty slow, thankfully. Yeah, you can't do shit damage to him, but this is definitely him. He's gonna do a super attack, so fuck this. So that's consistent. Every 25%. What? What's that hitbox? You missed. You don't get to do damage me anyway. I'm so bored with this boss fight, actually. Dude. It's just the same loop over and over again. I'm not even cheesing it. It's just what the game... It's just what this fight is. Okay, he's doing something. I'll just run away from that. <laughs> What hit me? That wasn't an attack, was it? I mean, obviously it did damage, but like... I didn't even see in a, a swing. He just killed me. What? Oh, I don't want to start the fight over. It's so long. Okay, so the door lo locks behind us, so at least that means I can run in. If I can make it safely, at least. I, uh, I was specifically saving my uh, my invincibility for when I was in danger. But I died via question mark? Like, I don't- I don't know how I died. That didn't look like an attack at all. And it killed me. That's really disappointing, because that fight's just really boring. Oh, that's not a good start. <clears throat> that fight is so long and boring, oh my god. And I've been stacking my attack numbers. Okay, let's just do the whole thing again from scratch. Took a few hits, but it's not the worst. This time I have three healing. The whole reason I had struggled there is because I didn't have my full healing meter, but now I do. So he's gonna be fucked. I am, uh, yeah, I didn't, I, I did not hit a, an age milestone, so we're not having another, another perk or anything. All right, so begins our very long fight again. He's, his attacks are pretty avoidable. It's not very hard so far. Apparently I want to continue to stay behind him though like I was because some bullshit hitboxes happened in front of him that didn't seem to happen when I was behind him except for when he did the big slam attack. His forearm slam has a bullshit hitbox so I need to dodge no matter where I am because if I assume it'll miss me and, and if visually it does miss, it, miss me it'll still hit me. Nope, not in front. Your front has some sort of bullshit hitboxes going on. Not trusting you. Nope. Nope, you're not tricking me. Oh, shit.
Running away from his spinny shit. Wibbity 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 wibbity. And he's done. Got that out of your system. This boss should be cooler than it is. Ah, fuck. Whoa, where's your low health state? Weird. I was waiting for a stun to happen, and it didn't happen. Because I was going to heal during that. Now? I guess. All right. Well, maybe it's because I did damage during this phase, so it changed when his stuns, his his mid his transition happened. Maybe it only starts counting the 25% health loss after he finishes being stunned. Oh, that's my best guess at the nonsense. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I've been scorned before. Nope. Nope, he's trying to... Nope. It's true. Nope. You know what? I'm not, I'm not doing this. You're hanging out in a corner? My camera's gonna suck if I fight you there, so I'm just gonna politely wait for you to not be there anymore. I have time. There we go. Oh. Ah, that was my bad. I'm blowing it. Uh, I'm getting too greedy because I'm bored, so I want the fight to end. Which is not the ideal emotional state for a boss fight. Patience is one thing, but this is just boredom. Which is not great. I'm swinging in the rain. Okay, get away. Spinny, 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 spinny. So this is the final stage. He might do something scary. Like stay in that state? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, is What are his attack animations going to be? Okay, they're the same. But now he's got lightning on him. What does that mean, though, for me? I don't know what that means for me, honestly. What? Oh, that fucking... Uh, it is kind of an attack swing. It just isn't very telegraphed, so it's hard to buy that it's hitting me. Or it just happens so abruptly and it does so much damage. Like, everything else is like a big swing and a roar, but that thing is like a tiny, like silly sword flourish, but it's an attack, which is kind of a dick move. Fuck! Fuck! It does that much damage? What the fuck, man? It did more than half my health, the stupid spinny flourish that doesn't have any telegraphing. Oh, you're pissing me off, game. Oh, you're pissing me off. Don't make me play your really boring fight again, please. Oh, no. All right, invincibility mid mode, go. We're, he's low enough.
There we go. That was that was cutting it a little closer than I was hoping. Okay, thank God. <sighs> that was most of the damage I took was that one non-attack swing. Empires, little warrior. The force of your will and the strength of your arm shall usher in a new age. With the death of the many-faced one, you have cemented your place among legends. Through the fires of Hades itself you have fought, and none shall stand in your way. He definitely had many something, but I don't know if face is the thing I'd go with. Okay, new region. I, I don't have a, a lot of loose ends that come to mind for the previous zone, so I think we're pretty done there. Go, little warrior. Continue your quest. And know that I will be watching. Somewhat disappointingly, this game kind of mostly just kind of hang hovers around okay territory? Is I guess how I'd put it? It starts off with some kind of inspired stuff, like those teleporting portals that change your size and stuff like that. Like, that's kind of fun. But then the, uh, over time... Well, immediately the combat just feels like not right <laughs> in the movement speed and so on. And I've been, I've been trying to get used to it, but... It's, uh, it's not a great feeling overall. But then you have these, like, really low points, like the, uh, the statues getting stuck in the doorway, and you can't fight them. You can't hurt those statues. You have to run away from them. But they're trapped in the doorway on each other, so, you, and they'll never, they'll never go anywhere else. So it just, it just broke that level, and I couldn't continue. Then you have that boss fight where it's just like, okay, he's just kind of boring. And then he does this one attack swing that just doesn't have telegraphing and sound effects or anything he just instantly does a huge amount of damage to you and that's like that's not fair like and i'll remind you i'm putting every single point 50 50 into both agility and vitality so i have i'm doing as much damage as possible with a fully upgraded weapon and i have as much health as possible like or at least those two at the same time as best you can split them but that attack still did more than half my health and one damage despite having no telegraphing and it still took me like a hundred hits to kill him because that's how much of a, a damage sponge he was. It's like, oh, I don't like the mix of the the mix of these particular things. A silver locket, a bag of corn, labyrinth rune, key card. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I was wondering whether I had anything in particular that might have been useful uh, to go to like a previous zone or even the uh, the hub world thing ward number number but I don't I don't think we have a lot going on here it's uh pretty much just got to find where the next level entrance was what do I have that's new a bag of corn Hmm. Dragon oil. Keep. What's what's the last new item I got? A buckler. Hmm. Cause I I think previously I had like a new piece of a, of like a key item I could use to navigate the world. It's like ah oh, that'll open up that thing, but 
I don't know if I got anything new that'll help me open up something new in this in this overworld. Do I have any new teleport codes? Not really. 